Am I really writing a song for my own funeral? Morbid. Bizarre. When I was a child, I believed in God, an eternal soul, life after death, heaven. So did everyone else around me. There was no doubt about it. This was how the world and reality were constructed around me. Growing up, I discovered the possibility that the ideas of God and life after death are something that humans made up. It's a great shelter from the frightening idea of death as the end of our existence. It's strange how I always thought that human beings were born out of a nowhere, out of nothing. A child is born, it appears, and when somebody dies, I thought he just disappeared. He's gone. I talked to biologists and discovered that birth and death are rather a theoretical construct of my mind. Birth, life and death are rather transformations. When a baby girl grows inside the body of her mother, it happens with a construction plan called DNA. The baby is everything her or his mother ate during pregnancy in the shape of a new human being, in the shape of a new and specific DNA. And this transformation continues throughout our lives. All the atoms of our bodies exchange with the world. Always. Within seven years, all the atoms your body is made of have exchanged completely. You're someone new. You are, in fact, what you eat. And what happens when I die? Do I disappear? No. When my body is buried in the ground, nature takes over again. I disintegrate. The atoms of my body slowly melt back into nature. They find their way into the ground, into the roots of an apple tree, into the fruit. And even if my body was burned, it transforms into warmth, light, fire. I am water, and it's impossible for water to die. Water transforms. You can see it in the clouds, the rain, ice, snow, a river, the ocean. Try to destroy a drop of water. It's impossible. Ocean.